This is a tutorial on the multiplication properties of exponents. When we multiply two terms together that have exponents in them, if the base is the same, then we can just add the exponents. So if we have 3 squared times 3 to the fourth, this is equal to 3 to the 2 plus fourth power, or 3 to the sixth power. This is because 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3. And then we multiply this times 3 to the 4th, which is just 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now all these 3's are multiplied together. So we actually have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and times 3 again. Or 6 3's multiplied together. So therefore our answer would be 3 to the 6th power. Our next example, we have 4 to the 5th power divided by 4 to the 2nd power. But this is the properties of exponents multiplication. So we're not going to divide these. But if you remember your properties of exponents, we can rewrite this 1 over 4 squared into 4 to the negative 2. And if we do that, then we have 4 to the 5th times 4 to the negative 2 power. And when we multiply numbers with the same base, we add the exponents. So this is the same as 4 to the 5th minus 2 power, or 4 to the 3rd power. The same thing happens when we have variables. Here we have x squared times x to the 4th. Now x squared is just x times x. And x to the fourth is x times x times x times x. Well, here we have six x's. So this is going to be x to the sixth. Or if you use the properties of exponents, x squared times x to the fourth, since they have the same base, you can add the exponents. So this would be x to the two plus four power, or x to the sixth. Again, here we have a to the fourth divided by a to the third. But we don't know how to divide properties of exponents, so let's rewrite this a to the third, since it's in the denominator, as a to the negative third. So what we have here is a to the fourth times a to the minus three. When we multiply two numbers with the same base, with different exponents, you add the exponents. So this is going to be a to the fourth plus negative three power, or a to the first. Our next example, we have a squared times a to the minus two times a to the one. Now we're multiplying all these together, they all have the same base, so this is going to equal a to the, add all of our exponents, two plus a negative two plus one power. Well, 2 plus negative 2 is 0, plus 1 would be 1, so this is just a to the first power again. Our last example, we have a to the fourth times b to the third times a to the minus 2 times b, or b to the 1. Now we can only add the terms with the same base. So what we're going to have here is we're going to add the exponents for our a's, and then we're going to add the exponents for our b's. So what we'll get is a to the fourth plus minus two power multiplied by b to the third plus one power. Because I'm adding the four and the negative two because they both have the base of a. And then I'm gonna add the three and the one because they both have the base of b. So our answer then would be a to the four plus minus two, which would be a squared times b to the 3 plus 1, or the 4th power. Now lastly, we have to talk about what happens when we have powers of powers. Here we have 3 to the 3rd, and then squared again. Well, let's think about what this means. This is 3 to the 3rd times 3 to the 3rd. Well, 3 to the 3rd is 3 times 3 times 3, and that's multiplied by another 3 to the 3rd, or 3 times 3 times 3. So what we have here is 3 multiplied by itself 6 times. So this is going to be 3 to the 6th. Another way to realize this is whenever you have a power to the power, 
you multiply your exponents. So this is going to be equal to 3 to the 3 times 2 power, or 3 to the 6. Same thing happens with variables. Here we have x to the 5th to the 3rd power. You're going to want to multiply your exponents. So this is going to be x to the 5th times 3, or x to the 15th. Our next example, we have 5x squared. Now we have two numbers in here, so you have to think of this as 5 times x squared. This is 5 to the 1 times x to the 1. So when you take the power to the power, you have to do that to both terms. So what we have here is 5 to the 1 times 2 power multiplied by x to the 1 times 2 power. This is 5 squared times x squared. 5 squared is 25, so this is 25 x squared. Our last example here, we have 2 times x squared times y, all to the fourth power. Now when you take a power of a power, you multiply your exponents, but you have to think of this in the parentheses as 2 to the first power times x squared times y to the first power. And this is all to the fourth power on the outside. So what you're going to have here is 2 to the 1 times 4 power multiplied by x to the 2 times 4 power and then multiplied by y to the 1 times 4 power. I'm just multiplying the exponents for each term. 2 to the 1 times 4th power is 2 to the 4th. x to the 2 times 4th power would be x to the 8th and y to the 1 times 4 power would be y to the 4th. 2 to the 4th is 16, so our final answer would be 16 x to the 8th y to the 4th. So whenever you multiply two numbers that have exponents, you add the exponents. And whenever you have a power to a power, you multiply your exponents. And that completes the tutorial on the multiplication properties of exponents.